Greetings, everyone. It's Glenn Kelloway coming to you from the basement. It is Friday afternoon, and I have a huge smile on my face. Well, not yet. I'm going to in a sec. <laughs> there. Um, I just got a new addition to my basement. It is a brand new CD player. So let me tell you before I unveil it. Now, I'm just going to do an unboxing. This is going to be like part one. I haven't had a chance to listen to it yet or hook it up. So you got to give me a chance to do that and listen to some CDs, and then I'll come back and kind of work you through it but uh, we will unbox it and I'll show you what I got anyway here was my thought process and I would really like some opinions on this whether you think I'm just stupid or whether I have some uh, I don't know uh, okay so I had an OPPO BDP 105 universal CD player for you those of you who don't know what that is as a universal CD player, this player played regular CDs, super audio CDs, DVD audio, Blu-ray audio, and Blu-ray video. It played all those formats. Very well-respected player. I've owned it for 13 years. Never had a problem with it. It's They're highly regarded players. Oppo, just look them up. People love them. Um... I had a couple of problems. One, age. I was starting to think, you know, the thing's still in pretty good shape, but at some point, it's not going to be. And uh, how long is this going to last? Secondly, because I'd say 90% of my CDs are just typical red book CDs. They're not audiophile CDs. I had quite a few audiophile CDs, but over, you know, in 2,000 CDs, 100 of them, maybe 80 of them were would you consider audio file that would meet the formats that this player played and they all sound fan like not all but m most of them sound really really amazing and they're expensive too i paid money for them over the years and bought most of them new so or used really cheaply and um so i decided that i wasn't totally happy with the sound I was getting. It sounded really good, but I just felt there should be more. I, I, and I don't know how to explain what more should be. Maybe it's more separation. Maybe it's better bass treble. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I just think I wasn't getting everything out of the listening experience I should. Because it's a universal player, and was a jack of all trades, not a master of none, as they say. So I started investigating just buying a dedicated CD player. Forget the SACDs and the Blu-ray audio and all that stuff. So I found something that I was really interested in. I um, contacted a guy I've done business with. I bought my monitor audio speakers and my Rega turntable off of this gentleman in Kingston, Ontario. Ash Forest Hi-Fi. He's at 234 Princess Street in Kingston. His name is Greg. If you are in Canada and you're looking for audio equipment, I suggest you contact Greg. He's a great guy. Anyway, because he distributed the product I started looking at, and it's called Name, N-A-I-M. Um, I was looking at their CD player. I was actually looking. I have a Moon Audio, a Moon Amp. It's a 240i. Love the amp. I thought maybe I could grab the moon cd player but it's freaking man it's expensive four grand or something so um anyway i couldn't swing that and we started talking about name that's how that all came about so um he sold me on this uh cd player and um let's unbox it enough of me mouthing off here uh i'm gonna try and turn that around this way like this and then kind of work from here. I'll even get down on my hands and knees for you. So here's the box. Right there. Name. There you go. The model number is a CD5I. Okay. Let's see if we can make this work. CD5I. So now... Um, this CD player, it, uh, 
hooks up to your amp two different ways. It hooks up with an RCA, regular typical RCA jacks, and it also hooks up with a DIN connection, which is like those little five point things. And um, I don't have DIN on my amp, so I either bought, I have to buy a DIN by RCA cable or hook it up in DIN. So if you, it, it comes programmed to work on the DIN connection. You have to get the uh, remote and you have to push it at the machine and you have to get push certain buttons on it to change the format so it hooks up to RCA. So while I was at the stereo shop this afternoon, I asked Greg to kindly open the box. Let's get it out. Let's get that out of the way because I don't want to come home and mess around with that. So that's what happened. So I'm going to open this up. There we go. I'm just going to show you all that. Maybe we can do it this way. Holy smokes. It's just like it's uh, made for this. So, Oh, look at that. Okay, first of all, we can take out the remote. There's the remote control. Nice looking remote. It, hand, it works good in the hand. There is my uh, CD player manual. Power cord. You, know, you see a power cord? We've all seen that. Here's the thing I was talking about. It comes with the cable. It's a DIN connection. See, that, that would be, uh, DIN to DIN would be ideal. So I'll keep that. You never know. I might, if I can save my pennies or win a lottery, I may... Uh, trade in my moon for the name because you know, supposedly the synergy is amazing. Anyway, uh, we'll try and take this out. Um, there's this other little gadget. Uh, it's called a puck. And this machine has a, a tray that's very unique. You know, you usually push a button, the tray pops out, or it's just a slot and you push the CD in. Not with this player. It's almost like a top loader, but a side loader. So you pull out a tray on the side and then you put the CD, CD, CD down and something like a record clamp, this is a CD clamp, it clamps down on the CD. Must You must use this. Okay, we will take that side off. We will take that side off. We will take that off. We will take this out. There's my player. Right there. There's the back. Like I was telling you, it's RCA or DIN. And, um, yeah. So, that's it. I'm going to get off of here now because I'm dying to hook this thing up and play it. I'll get back tomorrow with my thoughts and uh, show you how it works and all that stuff. Thanks a lot, everyone. I'm excited. We'll talk later.